afternoon, or almost afternoon here on the final Sunday of spring 2024. We got US Open concluding today. We got Jay Weed hunkered down this afternoon with some beers. Watching it from start to finish. Unlike some of us who will be tuning in for like the last four holes. Last night's feature presentation Airplane 2, the sequel, 1982. Our lead actor and actress return from the original film, Airplane 1980, uh, Robert Hayes, Ted Stryker, and Julie Haggerty is Elaine Nickinson, which gives it instant credibility, the sequel, having them back in the fold. It's the main characters. Leslie Nielsen does not return with the exception of a flashback scene. Also not returning Robert Stack, who was missed dearly, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who was also missed dearly. Roger Murdoch, and then Peter Graves does return, even though he's kind of phased out in this one. I think he dies again <laughs> in this one. And... Lloyd Bridges also returns. That helps a lot. He's good in this. Raymond Burr as the judge is solid. Nothing, nothing really stands out about his performance. Chuck Connors is in this, but very limited role, and nothing really stands out with him. Rip Torn is good in this, in this limited role. Chad Everett is the boyfriend of Elaine in this. Chad Everett of, of course, Medical Center and, of course, one of my favorite sci-fi horror films, TV movie, The Intruder Within, 1981, great movie. Kent McCord is also new here as Unger, <laughs> one of the pilots. Kent McCord of, you know, Adam 12 and other TV shows. Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, he was in that. Uh, James A. Watson Jr. is back as Dunn. <laughs> He's good. All right, so we got Steven Strucker as Jacobs, who is every bit as good as he was in the original. Steven Strucker. Get great rapport with uh, with Lloyd Bridges in this. Steven Strucker, who was in Kentucky Fried Movie 1977, and he was also in a 1985 film called Hot Resort, a comedy, which is kind of a Porky's rip-off summer theme movie, kind of beach-related, some, I think, high school and college kids getting a job at, a, at this uh, resort. Country club kind of thing. I feel like I should get this in another shot. I've seen it twice. Don't remember it very well. I don't think it's anything great or bad, but it's got Bronson Pinchot in it. He's kind of the only known <laughs> actor in it from Perfect Strangers. And it's got Steven Strucker, so I have to flip that one up and give it a shot soon. Please consider it. It's been a while. It's a little bit like Fraternity Vacation of the same year, 1995. All right, so we got John Vernon in this film, in Airplane 2, the sequel, who is excellent as uh, Dr. Stone, I think his name. Yeah, Dr. Stone. It was really funny in the, in the uh, home for the mentally ill and in the courtroom scene. Got a great deadpan. He's best known as the principal, I think, or the dean in Animal House. But yeah, he's really good at this. Al White returns as uh, as a witness in the courtroom scene. He's only there just to rehash the the jive.
have talk, shtick, which is people like. I don't think it's that good. But at least they didn't bring back Barb or Billingsley for it. I thought that was kind of stupid. Kind of overrated. And Airplane, 1980. But Al White back just for that little scene. Sonny Bono as the bomber is does a very puts in a very good performance of this. So I really like Sonny Bono in this. Uh, very self-deprecating. Jack Jones is a is a lounge singer. Very quick scene. It's one of my nicknames for free Jack Balls and trivia. Jack Jones. All right. Uh, Richard Jekyll is kind of wasted here. <laughs> Another just sort of kind of well-known actor who pretty recognizable face uh, has a couple of good lines. You hear about the impotent impotence. Uh, yeah, Richard Jekyll who was in Grizzly 1977 and Blood Song 1982. Frankie Avalon. Jekyll, pretty well-known face, and then John uh, John Larch, who is really a, a, another very recognizable face, a guy who was in a lot of westerns. John Larch is very good as a like as a lawyer in this. He has a, he really makes the most of the scenes he's in. Uh, Sam Anderson is I don't remember. I think he's kind of like a. He might be the guy in the one of the guys in the um, psychiatric home, but Sam Anderson, probably best known as the principal in Forrest Gump. But he was in some TV show, I forget which TV show he was in. Sam Anderson, uh, another TV guy, uh, David Leisure. I forget what TV show he's in, but comedian David Leisure. Well, it's a sunny day here in Richmond, Virginia. A very, very warm day. Who else is in Airplane 2? Never ends. Rick Overton. I didn't catch him in this. He's like a clerk, I think, in the... Maybe in the airport, perhaps. Uh, Rick Overton, who is the... I believe he's like the sewer worker in Die Hard. And he's in... Uh, Groundhog Day is one of the drunks that hangs out with Bill Murray. From the, picks up from the bowling alley. Yeah, Rick Overton. And then uh, we got Pat Sajak, who just passed the baton over to... What's his face? <laughs> from Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Pat Sajak, who has like a couple of scenes. He's the Buffalonian anchorman. How about that, Shock? Pat Sajak. It was like two sheet scenes. He, sh he screams at the in one of the scenes, and then he announces the shuttle issues in another scene. Buffalonian. Oh, uh, we got Monique Gabrielle. I always forget she's in this. She's one of the uh, topless women who walks through the little scanner, kind of towards the beginning of the film. She was in. She played Emmanuel, the title role in Emmanuel Five. She was also one of the girls from Hot Moves, 1984 film I'll be watching soon, so I'll be mentioning Monique Gabrielle soon. Uh, Rance Howard, the father of Ron Howard, is in this. I did not catch him. He might be on the plane or something. Uh, George Wint is one of the workers uncredited in the, in the airport. He's, uh, of course, Norm from Cheers, and we got Tom Willett. He's in the psychiatric home. He's a future man, the guy that Duck likes to watch on YouTube. I'm a shady guy in real life. <laughs> uh, and then we have uh, Richard Gilliland, who was in, who's kind of a second-hand man to uh, Lieutenant Murdoch. And he was in Bug in 1995. Really good in that. He's excellent in this with kind of his his deadpan responses to William Shatner, who is Lieutenant Murdoch. He's only on, he comes in at the last like 15 minutes and absolutely steals the movie. This movie would not be as great. It's very great as it is, but without, William Shatner just steals it in this movie. He kills it 
absolutely just he is just on for the like 15 minutes that he's on screen or he's not even on screen that long but 15 last 15 minutes of the film we're introduced to him he is incredible in this he's hilarious best performance by Shatner I've ever seen in anything I like this movie this is not a review of Airplane 2 but I like this movie more than I do Airplane I mentioned this as being one of the must watches of the June movie season Airplane 1980 I can pretty much dismiss and I probably will dismiss it this year but that was last night's feature presentation I may have left out a couple names but I just think I got the main ones there all right, guys. Happy Father's Day, guys. To all you dads out there, we love you. Peter's out. See you for trivia.